in this video we're going to have a look at a more difficult exam question on indices and in particular writing a power of one number as a power of another. So looking at this question it says express the following in the form 2 to the p. So part 1. Now this one starts off relatively straightforward. We've got 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the 7 cubed. Well, if we subtract the powers we get 2 to the minus 2 cubed which is multiplying the powers together 2 to the power of minus 6 so relatively straightforward that one but now for the difficult part we've got 5 times 4 to the power of 2 thirds plus 3 times 16 to the power of 1 third and we need to write those as powers of 2 well, first of all, this one's relatively straightforward to write as a power of 2. We've got 5 times 2 squared. 4 is 2 squared to the power of 2 thirds. Plus 3 times and 16 is 2 to the power of 4 to the power of a third. So these two lines say exactly the same thing. We've got 5 times 4 to the 2 thirds. 5 times 4 to the 2 thirds. Plus 3 times 16 to the third. 3 times 16 to the power of a third. Okay, simplifying that further, we've got 5 times 2 to the, well, 2 times 2 thirds is 4 thirds, plus 3 times, okay, 4 times a third is also 4 thirds, 2 to the power of 4 thirds. And notice we've got 5 of these, 2 to the 4 thirds here, and we're adding 3 of the 2 to the 4 thirds that becomes 8 times 2 to the 4 thirds which is equal to well 8 can be written as a power of 2 as well 2 cubed times 2 to the 4 thirds then adding these powers together well best to have them both in thirds 2 to the power of 9 thirds 3 is 9 thirds times 2 to the power of 4 thirds Adding the powers, 9 thirds add 4 thirds is 2 to the power of 13 thirds. So quite a tricky question there. For more resources like this, including categorised exam questions, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.